Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I wanted to take a look at an interesting little thing that I've had for like over a year now, but I haven't actually opened it. I originally thought this was Windows 8.1 Pro. It was the whole media DVD and it had like some extra goodies and stuff on it. Truthfully, I don't know what the DSP stands for. It could be digital service provider. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you have to go online. Some sort of code that you put in and you would download the media online, create it yourself, and then that you would enter your, your code again to activate Windows. I, I really don't know, but what I assumed it was was a DVD with Windows 8.1 and a couple of extra goodies on it. Um, if we look at the box here, it basically, like, I didn't fully understand, but at the time, I assumed that was just some of the stuff that was on there, but as we're finding out, that's all the stuff that's on there. We'll get to that in a minute. Either way, it's an interesting little box. I actually wanted to make a video about this on Halloween because they're all in Halloween get-ups. And they're actually doing that because Windows 8.1 was released something like October 13th, 2013. So that's why um, they're all wearing this. But if we look here, this is the Hatsubai Kinen Paku, which is the uh, sale date or like this, like the launch the start of the sales um, anniversary pack. So I suspect this was a digital download and you would get the code in here and um, there was just some extra goodies for OS 10 related stuff, which we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, they do give you a mouse, a, a Microsoft Sculpt mouse. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But yes, this should have given it away. They have a Nile um, selection or browsing and it basically says all the past uh, Madobe family uh, raw materials or like materials which I didn't understand at first but now makes total sense and then we have Madobe family new picture password use uh, pictures three types um, not yet exhibited designs and then I, I, I'll be asked if I'm gonna look that up right now but it makes sense because what's contained in here um, aside from a, all you can you or an all you can talk uh, three month Skype ticket and software for final computer data moving nine plus plus, which I couldn't find anything about that in here, but maybe it's in a PDF file or something. Aside from those two things, this CD or sorry, this DVD basically contains a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of OS 10 related stuff from Windows 7, so that's, uh, I think her name is Madobe, Nanami, Madobe. All, all from these ones here, you and I, all the way up to Claudia, which I guess Claudia is 8.1. And it's really, really cool. There's all sorts of stuff, including PSD files for like the source material, pictures, there's music, like there's all sorts of really cool stuff on this DVD, two gigs worth of it. So we'll take a look at it in just a moment. What makes me think as well that this was supposed to be like something you would download online is it actually advertises a bunch of new features or new features that Windows 8.1 had. I don't really know how they're new because it's saying like desktop picture. So I don't really know what they're talking about with that. Um, the start button, like as far as I, I'm concerned, Windows Eight. Did it have a start button? I don't even remember actually. It's been so long since I last used it, but I'm pretty sure they still had a start button. Um, there was the camera. Uh, I think that actually has to do... Yeah, that has to do with like some sort of fake facial recognition for logging in, I believe. Um, SkyDrive, which is the precursor to OneDrive. There's Skype, Internet Explorer 11, multitasking, which... I don't know, I guess they're talking about like putting two apps side by side or something like that. Um, something about search strengthening, maybe it just means there are better search results now. And new user, um, user interface, which it, it doesn't seem any different. I, I thought Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 were pretty much the same, I had used both, but Anyways, let's open this up and have a look. So we take a quick look at the Sculpt Mouse. It's really nothing that interesting. And I'm not going to use it in the video because more collectible. And because honestly, look at this. This is like 
a decent Microsoft product. But they absolutely scuffed it. Like, look at how horrible that silk screening job is for, for Madobe. Like, it's just jar, like, it's janky and jarring. Like, she's just cut off awkwardly there and there, and, like, the quality is just horrible. Like, look at how crusty it is. So it's very unfortunate that they kind of cut corners with that, but we'll, we'll see that again in a moment. These aren't too special. That's just the use guide for the Sculpt Mouse in a bunch of different languages. Um, this is for the Sculpt Mouse receiver. I guess it's just a bunch of stuff saying, hey, this complies with like standards in Japan or something. And then we have this thing, which kind of curious to me. I guess it's signing up for Microsoft Club. I think uh, this is actually for the sculpt mouse if you look here it says Microsoft sculpt mobile mouse um, but it's a it's a show show which is like a, a purchasing receipt like a proof of purchase type thing and, and you fill this out and send it to Microsoft and basically from what I can gather from just reading this is they tell you about offers and new products and campaigns and stuff like that though as I said I suspect it's more signing up for club Microsoft because you have this sculpt mouse now so but I don't know like it just seems like a bunch of PR crap I there's nothing in here that I can find about a warranty either so I, I don't know but hey at least signing up or being a subscriber is free so that's cool but uh, yeah oh and this yes let's get to this this is that three month uh, Skype sign up thing but it looks like it was only available for I guess people within Japan. Um, it was a three month term. There's the code there if you want to use it, but uh uh, uh not so fast. Um, obviously, you have to be in Japan, but more importantly, um, this coupon is only effective until the end of January 31st, 2014, so please use it by then. Well, today is November 13th, 2023, so I think unfortunately, even if you did live in Japan, you're a little too late for this now. In fact, I'm sure it was probably already used, but um, still kind of funny to see that. But coming back to the crust problem that I'm having with this, look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Like, look at how JPEG quality this is. It's so low resolution. The camera's definitely not doing it any justice. It just... It blows my mind that Microsoft would spend so much money, or at least Microsoft Japan would spend so much money commissioning or hiring like professional artists to do really, really, really cute and proper characters for their OS tans, and then scuff the hell out of it by making the pictures like super like JPEG and low quality. Now thankfully this is this is the only time like we're gonna see that. The actual uh stuff on the DVD is very high quality, but it just, it blows my mind, like, they, they made this thing all sharp and pretty and, like, all good, and then the actual part that people like me give a shit about looks like crap. Um, actually, my inspiration for opening this was because I recently saw a video of a guy who bought a brand new Apple product from, like, a long time ago. It was some sort of iPad, and it was still sealed and everything. He ran a check and verified, yep, this thing's never been opened, it's not resealed. And instead of opening it and like actually looking at it and demonstrating it, the dude just left it sealed. And it really pissed me off. I don't know why. It really pissed me off. So I figured I'm not going to be that guy either. Uh, I don't know how many dumps of this exist anywhere online, if any. Maybe this stuff already exists, but I don't know. I'm going to open mine. So here we go. There you have it. And even though my camera or my microphone sounds terrible, and I apologize for that, at least you guys can see um, this stuff better. And I've also scaled the resolution of the VM to kind of be appropriate to the resolution of the stuff that's on the DVD. But as you can see, I've already dumped it. I've created a ISO, and I've it mounted in my VM. And we can start taking a look at some of the stuff on here. Basically, these are just like usage guides. From what I can gather, 
Yeah, character license. So I guess it's a bunch of like, hey, don't use these designs for profit because as we'll see here in a minute, there's PSD files and stuff. Like there's source material in here. So these are some of the wallpapers they were talking about. I think these are actually for the picture password thing. Uh, but this is like the box art. There's like a birthday thing and Windows 8.1 launch. So just really cool. Um, I think these would be better as wallpapers. They're really cute, but they seem to be pretty high quality. Like we go in here, like look at these. These are very, very high quality. So that was basically that. Yeah, it's just the uh, desktop pictures. So here we have the Madobe family collection. So we have Claudia Madobe. That's a family tree thing. Madobe Nanami. Madobe family and Madobe U plus I. So it's just a bunch of drawings, right? So there's like a rough sketch that they would show you, art that they had used. So you can see right there. And if you just wanted her without a calendar, right there. So really interesting. Um, None of it seems to be like any software though. It's just all like pictures and, and the like, which is really interesting. It's it's kind of cool to see some of this stuff in action here. But for example, they, there is actually music here. I don't know if I can play all of this because it might get content matched, but I, I can play at least seven seconds of it. Um, oh, there are actually themes. There are actually themes here. So I can't seem to get the themes to work for some reason. I don't know why. They don't seem to be working. They also had stuff like illustrations from Comicat. Um, so they have like this. And some of the like line art stuff. So from Comicat. 83 and 84 it seems like they actually participated and had some form of art um, There we go completed illustration That would make sense. There's the building they usually have comic head in very interesting There seems to be an MMD contained in here as well for Nanami, which is very interesting They have more music here, which I believe is off of I have this CD Yeah there's some more music here. So all that to say, it's quite an interesting DVD and it mainly just contains source files for illustrations from various campaigns and stuff they've done over the years from the Windows 7 Tan days of uh, uh, Nanami all the way up to Windows 8.1. Uh, I guess her name is Kurodia. So very cool. There are a couple of songs on there from uh, some promotional stuff they did as well as an MMD model for uh, Nanami, which is very surprising and cool to see. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this has been dumped. If it has been dumped, um, then I'll link to it. But otherwise, I will upload this uh, DVD to archive.org um, and you can take a look through the source files yourself. But uh, yeah, thanks for taking a look at this with me and I will see you guys some other time.